Hey everybody, I'm back once again. As promised, I'm coming back with a follow-up video for my Oreo cheesecake uh, that I just made. As you can see, I've got the cheesecake here. Um, for me, it looks pretty much perfect. Uh, the crust came out well. The cheesecake part came out well. Had a little bit of cracking on it, but that's okay. Uh, it's still going to taste delicious. So, one of the things when I'm making things for people, um, not only do I want it to taste good, I like to have a little bit of presentation with it. So today I'm going to be mixing up some homemade whipped cream and adding a little bit of Oreo to it and maybe a little bit of Oreo sprinkles uh, on the top of the cake. Uh, but to get started, I'll start with the, the whipped cream. Um, very simple. Uh, three ingredients. Um, one cup of heavy whipping cream. Um, one to two tablespoons of powdered sugar, depending on how sweet you like it and then just a teaspoon of vanilla. So and it's very quick. Um, I don't know if you can see here, but it has a little line. You pour in the whipping cream up into that line there. there Got that in. I've already measured out my powdered sugar. Go ahead and dump that in. And then my teaspoon of vanilla. So once all of that's in, I'll just put on the, the lid, lock it into place, and then from here, it takes about 30 to 40 seconds of uh, pumping the handle up and down to make the whipped cream. got whipping cream. Let's see how it comes out here. Oh, nice and thick. Just the way I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and scrape it into a silicone bowl here to mix in the Oreo. Should we get all of it out? Set that down. Oh, it's looking so good. I wish all of you could be here to taste it. It's always a big hit at the cooking shows. And the great thing about it, uh, if you're making it for yourself and you don't use it all at once, it's got a non-slip uh, base that slips on here. And if you want to eat all the whipped cream, you can take the base off and it works as a lid to keep it fresh for two to three days in the fridge. So now I've got uh, some more Oreo cookie crumbles. I'm going to put that in here and just mix it gently. Uh, as I mentioned last night, after I chopped them up, I put them into a, uh, a wire mesh colander to take out a lot of the dust that's created. And what that does, it prevents the whipped cream or if you're doing the frosting from turning a gray color. I probably could have used a little bit more cookie crumbs. But now I'll take and scoop it. I've got a, a piping bag in my mix all. I'll just scoop the whipped cream in here. Push it down in there. And I definitely will not use all of this on this particular thing here. But I do want to make sure I've got enough. Set that aside and then lift up my bag. And then just squeeze it down to get all the air out of it. Ah, there we go. 
So I'll probably put about six dollops on here. Ah. Probably should have used a different tip. Yeah, I should have used a different tip. Uh, evidently the Oreo is a little bit bigger than I thought. And it's not coming out very well. It's actually coming out the top. So let's get something to poke it here. Got the squigglies. That was an epic failure. But that's the great thing about when you're part of Pampered Chef is you don't have to be a perfect chef. Um, I'll probably just scrape this off and redo it. I won't waste your time by going through that process. Um, but I do thank you for joining in. If you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you and have a great day.